Turning now to your four at four, uh, the man accused of shooting a child and her father appearing in a Gaston County courtroom today. The suspect at the center of this case is 24 year old Robert Singletary. Officers spent two days trying to find him after he allegedly opened fire on his neighbors. He turned himself into authorities in Tampa and was then taken back to our area over the weekend. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre live outside the courthouse. Uh, Jesse, what happened at the hearing? Well, Robert Singletary had his bond hearing this morning and he is facing several charges. Now, according to neighbors, they say that this all started with a bunch of kids playing with a basketball that rolled into his yard. The next thing you know, they say he came out with a gun and started shooting. Four counts of attempted first degree murder and two counts of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill inflicted serious injury. 24 year old Robert Singletary is back in Gaston County. He was extradited back from Florida over the weekend. He is accused of shooting six year old Kinsley White and her parents last month after a basketball rolled into his yard. Singletary fled to Florida. He eventually turned himself in and he is facing a slew of charges including attempted murder, assault with a deadly weapon and possession of a firearm by a felon. Tuesday, he made his first appearance at the Gaston County Superior Courthouse for his bond hearing. District Attorney Travis Page called Singletary, who showed no emotion during his appearance, a danger to the community, requesting he remains behind bars as he shared Singletary's previous charges. He was also convicted in 2017 of assault with a deadly weapon, uh, inflicting serious injury in which he shot two people in Mecklenburg County. He was released from prison in 2020 on those charges that falls well within the five year uh, look back. Page also called Singletary a flight risk after he left the state following the April 18 shooting. The allegations would show that he removed an electronic monitoring device for which he was on pretrial release for. Uh, and then also fled the jurisdiction to the state of Florida. He has been extradited back. Singletary's attorney who represents him on other cases did not make a motion on the bond at this time. We think it would be more appropriate for us to have all the information in front of us before we started arguing the bond. After reviewing Singletary's criminal history, the judge denied his bond and Singletary will be held in Gaston County Jail. And not more than five years have elapsed since the date of conviction or the person's release for this offense. Therefore, this defendant shall be held with no bond. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we will hear from six-year-old Kinsley White's parents, um, including her father, who was also hurt in the shooting. They say they want justice for Kinsley and everyone else. Live in Gastonia, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.